Hello everybody. In this video I am going to talk about GeoSoft or Oasis Montage. And I will mention some of its great capabilities that can be used in geoscientific data analysis. After several years of work in geoscientific domain and mineral exploration, I came to the conclusion that most of the people don't really know the great capabilities and opportunities this software, this software provides us. So I decided to make a video and let everybody know uh, that this software can be an amazing tool in their analysis and interpretations. So let's go to the topic. The main quote in the GeoSoft web page is transform data into decisions with OSIS Montage. In fact, it is a platform that you can use to visualize, analyze, and integrate your geoscientific, uh, your geoscientific data sets. This software provides big data analysis with ease. And it is, in fact, very effective in analyzing different type of uh, geoscientific data sets very quickly. This platform, in fact, enables you to integrate all your geoscientific data. This is amazing. And this is a fact that most of the people working with GeoSoft don't really know. Uh, in, the, in the mineral exploration industry, for example, we can use it to visualize geological maps together with satellite imagery, together with our 3D or 2D geophysical models together with drilled boreholes and their information of the boreholes uh, you know for example the categorical information or for example the other information type of information for example the geochemical assays and this is an opportunity to understand the real cause of data variations which uh, is really beneficial in geoscientific data analysis and interpretations and inherently uh, provides us great opportunities to decrease the related risks in geoscientific projects. The other characteristics of Geos the other characteristic of GeoSoft is that it can provide you to create automatic workflows you know within a few clicks you do all of the stuff that you have to perform for different projects as a limited as a uh, you know repetitive operation so it is amazing and in the end you can extend your data processing power by uh, you know using the cloud environment this uh, capability has just been uh, available recently not it is less than I think 10 years or even less than that that uh, we can use this uh, opportunity and it is really great because uh, dealing with some type of data sets with our own computers and systems could be very challenging and uh, we really need high computing systems to do the processing so this option will be amazing we put our constraints in on in the inversions we set our uh, desired parameters we upload these parameters and our data uh, and in a few minutes the results will be back into our systems and this is really amazing and uh, I really uh, uh, recommend you to use this and it is provided under the Waxy Earth modeling uh, menu. Now I would like to jump out to the GeoSoft itself. This is the uh, you know visual look of uh, an, an empty project I call the test and there are several menus that are used in almost every project uh, map database coordinates in gradient image and the other ones but there are a lot of menus that are not listed here because they are very uh, di 
diverse menus so it would be a mess to have all of them in the menu bar and we can load them via the uh, load menu uh, right next to the GX and these are the menus that we can use and each of them uh, can be used in a specific geoscientific data and they are really diverse in fact to I'm going to mention some of them to let you know the diverse geoscientific processing and that can be you can that can be performed with Geosoft we have airborne geophysics and the airborne survey quality control we have airborne gravity uh, data analysis uh, these are the menus that if I click on open uh, will be added to the top menu we have the some of the menus are provided with several uh, you know, groups and organizations scientific groups and organizations this is the center of exploration targeting which has provided the CET grid analysis we can use this menu to uh, do you know image processing algorithms and uh, use it to extract a structural information from our airborne you know data sets for example this is the central exploration targeting center of exploration targeting of uh, the Australian group for porphyry analysis in the exploration this is an amazing tool that can be used in a specific type of porphyry systems the copper gold porphyry systems the, the menu of Euler 3d is well known for the geophysicists which you which we can use it for uh, the analysis of Euler 3D deconvolution technique for depth estimation we can use this is the geochemistry menu yes m most of us are probably not familiar that Joseph can also be used to analyze geochemical data and this menu provides us the opportunity to check quality control our assays and uh, check the duplicate samples um, and diverse applications you know diverse uh, processings and uh, tasks for example uh, dimensional reduction techniques like the factorial analysis the co bivariate correlation calculations they can all be done by ge geochemistry menu in here this is the GMCs and GMCs 3D menu. These menus are used by oil exploration experts uh, and they can in, uh, use and import uh, seismic sections together with potential field models and all of the information they have from their sedimentary basin to understand the uh, variations of the subsurface and the pre uh, they can delineate the uh, you know promising zones for uh, oil reservoirs we, this menu is for gravity data analysis and the corrections the diverse corrections uh, on the gravity survey and this is the IGRF menu the international geomagnetic reference field calculation this is the IP those polarization data can also be converted by Geosoft uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about that this is the leveling and this is the micro leveling that we can use in the analysis of especially our airborne data sets, airborne geophysical data sets. This is the MAC map which enables us to uh, benefit the tr mathematical transport transformations and different enhancements on potential fault data sets specifically. Uh, we have the radiometric processings by Geosoft as well we have source edge detection menu in here we have a uh, uh, SPI menu for depth estimation of uh, magnetic data sets we have the target menu together with the drill hole, drill hole menu these menus are really favorable for those active in the mineral exploration industry for geologists geophysicists working in mineral exploration uh, also for geochemists to uh, use these menus we can load our existing boreholes uh, we can uh, create the proposed boreholes to see whether uh, it is going to be effective or not uh, we can also uh, you know 
take a lot of type of take a lot of type of exports in different formats from our data so it is an important and amazing tool to be used and i definitely sort of recommend you to use it if you are working in the main or exploration domain these are the menus provided by usgs this is the unexploded uh, ordnance uh, you know uh, surveys uh, by to you know characterize uxo this is the and this is the uh, Voxiers modeling system. This is the Voxie menu that can be used for 3 version of uh, magnetic gravity and uh, electromagnetic data. So this is the menu that uh, we can, in fact, upload our data and the results after processing will be back into our system. This is an amazing. So these diverse menus i have just checked some of them and uh, you know uh, talked a little about the diverse applications that they can be used so joseph is a great platform for different uh, geoscientific analysis and i would like to also mention this arcgis mxd this uh, in fact option enables us to open mxd files without having uh, arcgis installed on our systems and it is good uh, if you do not have really arcgis in your systems or if you just want to look at some layers in the geosoft together with your models uh, in this uh, in the soft in geosoft's environment uh, i hope that you have enjoyed this video and uh, i didn't talk a lot about now you know menus that I have just mentioned. So I just wanted wanted you to know that the Geosoft is capable uh, of uh, analysis of different type of data sets, and I just you know quickly reviewed some of them. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope that you start learning this amazing software and use it in your geoscientific data analysis.